A child is born into a land ruled by fire and steel. On his fifth birthday, he is separated from his parents and interrogated by the overlords in a language he does not understand. Afterwards, he is daily forced to report to a re-education camp, away from his people, to learn the ways and language of the overlords. Still, he is none the wiser as to why he is there, what his crime was to receive this punishment, or when it will end. All he knows is the words of his father. Trust no one, not man, not woman, not beast, only steel. The child's crime was holding to the language and culture of his people and not assimilating into the ways of the overlords. The interrogation was their performance achievement test. Two 40-minute sessions, both conducted solely in English. The first session determines ability at numeracy, algebra, geometry, measurements, statistics and probability. The second, reading, comprehension, vocabulary and spelling. The sentence was to be placed in a special needs class. Her education is conducted at the most basic level and only in English. The duration will be for 12 long years of isolation and toil without reward. 12 years absent of any hope of escape or release. Through the sheer act of survival, the child is forced to develop skills, character and mental toughness to endure what others could not. I know this because the child was me, and the land was the steel city of Wollongong, and the practice of placing English language learners into special needs classes still occurs, not just in Australia, but globally. Now, thanks to the help of my friends, I have returned to the rescue other subtle-minded thinkers who, because of their inability to grasp the intricacies of the English language, have fallen through the gaps in mainstream education. We cannot be fixed because we are not broken. We are just different. My background uniquely qualifies me to do the work I do and provides me with the privilege to glimpse those euphoric moments when the seemingly impossible becomes possible. Recently, one of my students passed their PAT test and move from year 4 to year 8 in a single sweep of the pen. It is this that has become my why. Why I get up in the mornings. Why I work towards a future that sees being different as a gift, not a security concern. And why I share the answer to the riddle of steel with all who will listen. My father was wrong. You cannot trust steel. Steel will grow brittle and weak with time and pressure just as people will. It is will and conviction that prevail. The power of steel comes not from brute force, not from intricate artisanship, not even from the strength of your hand, but from the clear belief and conviction of the one who wields it. It is will and belief that motivates us to wield the sword, to use that sword rightly, and not against the weak and unfortunate.